producing commercial spawn can be hectic, especially if you are working alone. Very, very hectic. So a typical day in my life, growing commercial spawn. So I first of all soak the greens around 2 p.m. So I remove all the debris, clean it, and then soak it overnight. The next morning, I woke up as early as 3.50 a.m. Then I wash the grains very thoroughly. So I wash at least three times, changing water three times too. And make sure that the grains are clean, free from debris and any impurity. When the grains are finally clean, I then set up my fire. First of all, I place the water in the sterilization tank. Then I place a wooden rack that separates the water from touching the grains. Then I add my grains in the sack, which will allow the vapor to pass through and get the grains softened and sterilized. And I cover it and then set up my fire. And the setting up of the fire was another tedious work, trust me. Especially if it rains the day before the sterilization. Yes, so unlikely for me it rained. So my firewood was already wet. But gas is expensive. I needed to do something about it and try with the wood in order to save cost of gas. <laughs> yes. struggling for about 15 to 20 minutes to get this fire set up oh i was tired i needed to grab some water and cool the system down and continue the work so on this day the target was to produce 500 bottles and the bottles i had which is already clean was less than 300 so i needed to wash more because the dirty bottles arrived in the morning so i needed to wash more and trust me it, it's it was tiresome like i have to wash all this bottle whilst checking the fire to make sure that everything was going on well
after spending about an hour to two hours washing the bottles finally my grains were ready and then the next thing was to remove it from the sterilization tank and then air dry it for it to cool down for the next stage the vapor was even cooking myself yes it was very hot but the work needed to be done so i work with caution in order not to get burned or cause an accident to myself whilst working a shout out to all my subscribers premium agri hub and if today is your first time click on the subscription button to join the team after the steaming the grains are allowed to air dry and then cool down and then the next stage is to add my calcium carbonate mix it to prevent the grains from stacking together when the process is completely done so i add my calcium carbonate and then mix it all together the calcium carbonate literally for balancing the ph and it also helps the grains for not stacking together if you need commercial spawn to buy look no further than premium agri help our details are in the description box pick it and then hit us and we will deliver to you wherever you are at a cool price so this part of the work can take you about four hours like i have to sit down fill these bottles fill these bottles come on like working alone sometimes is very difficult but we move yes your girl is strong we produce point for people to <laughs> by grow mushroom yes so if you're a mushroom producer and you're looking for commercial spawn to buy that is quality but nothing but the quality contact us premium agri help we get you cover up with quality commercial spawn well done and don't forget to hit on the subscription button if today is your first time for visiting this channel join the family all about farming especially mushrooms so after filling the bottles with the greens then cook it with a cotton the next thing it moves into sterilization stage which was done for about three hours and then it moves to the lab pen upside down for excess water to come out and then inoculation starts the next day day three is inoculation day yes so we first of all clean the lab thoroughly using parasol yes we mop the floor, we clean it, and then we spray the entire room with alcohol. Yes, with ethanol. So I use ethanol to work as my disinfectant, and I use parazone for the floor. So wipe everywhere, spray the entire room with alcohol, and then I now remove my bottle and start the inoculation. But before this stage, our commercial MC was ready today is our second day of our commercial spawn production so we allow the grains to cool overnight and then we turn it upside down for excess water to drip off so this morning we are going to introduce our master culture which is the mc into the grains to make it commercial spawn which we will sell out to mushroom farmers so this morning we first of all use the dental water to clean the entire lab then we use um, ethanol to spray the entire room and then we'll be using this rod to break the spoon in the bottle and then we have our cotton fully wet with the ethanol for our disinfectant we also have our sources of heat here so we are working with fire okay to avoid contamination to eliminate all possible contamination so we'll be working with fire so so we heat our rod with the fire and then we use the cotton which is wet with the alcohol to wipe the entire bottle so this is our mc that is the master culture which we are going to um, transfer into the grains to make it a commercial spawn which is the first transfer 
So you first of all heat the um, bottle, the mount of it, so that if there is any bacteria, it will not get the chance to enter into our commercial spawn. So the grains are stuck together, so you need a rod to break the grains down. And we are using one is to 10. So we are using one master culture for 10 commercial spawn, which is the first transfer. So you take your commercial spawn, which is just the grains right now, then you heat both of the bottles. After about five to six hours of inoculation, the next thing is to arrange your bottles very well. The spacing allow air to easily circulate through and because I don't have shelves, I arrange it on the floor there for the reason for using the parazon or Dettol to clean the entire floor. Thank you so much for watching and join me in the next video.